welcome to the Sheikh Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi. Behind me, you can see that the aliens have landed. I mean, what a fabulous picture. The two of us are here. <laughs> <laughs> really. But on a more serious note, it's such a fabulous thing that Cricket is doing to, you know, obviate and alleviate some of the stuff of earthquake victims. It's That's such a, such a terrific thing. Absolutely right. Uh, about to get underway. Weather-wise, it's a lot better. Even though it's, the, it's been fairly warm, there's a gentle breeze across the ground, which could make it easy for the cricketers. And the pitch is the same as the one that was played yesterday. Amir is with me. Amir, you made a point about the pitch being slow and also the hollow nature. We'll just check out the sound. Very hollow. It doesn't have a hard base, doesn't it? It doesn't. And I was uh, talking to the curator and he was telling me that uh, uh, the pitch uh, was uh, relayed and the content which was mixed with the surface have footwork to actually get some runs on this one. Very similar to the conditions yesterday. It's going to be slower and we'll see some turn for the spinners. Well, it appears that it's going to be a struggle today as well, Remy. Still, it's going to be slow, whatever you do to this track. That is right. By the way, are we still friends? Pakistan 1-0 up. Hey, just you wait, Remy. <laughs> you wait and see today. It's going to be different. Let's find out from uh, Dean Jones. is out there with the two captains for the toss. Oh, well, we've got the two captains out here in Rosham Mahanama, the ICC match referee, and I believe you've got the coin this time. Thank you. Hence is the goal. It is tails. Jeez, you keep winning the tosses. Well, I'm entitled to some luck. I didn't win that many against England, so yeah. What are you going to do? Oh, we're going to have a bad game, Dino. Yeah, and the pitch, any difference you see today than yesterday? Uh, not, not too different, actually. It's going to be similar, sort of low and slow. Uh, we probably didn't get a pass score yesterday, and, and that's something we try and address and correct today. Uh, 230, 240, what do you think the pass score is? Well, we just had to assess it as, as the game goes on. Yeah. Uh, similar to that, similar to that, I think should be uh, should be a good score on this wicket. All right, mate, thanks very much. Good luck today. Well, I get the feeling you would have batted if you won the toss. Yeah, definitely, because it's the same pitch. I think in fourth innings, not easy to chase because his wicket is look that is not easy to bet on. Mm. You put a wonderful performance in yesterday, the whole team. You just didn't let India play like they normally do. Yeah, because it's against India, his boys are get up and they try to more than 100% and that's why. And uh, yeah, a couple of good performances and Jum looked fantastic yesterday, good young kid. Yeah, he's Asif and uh, the other boy is really doing well and, and especially in the fielding, his boys are really get up and he's doing well. All right, mate, thanks very much. I'll let you get back to your managers thanks. to find the team. There it is. Well, India won the toss and elected to bat. So India won the toss, they're batting, they've got Virinda Sehwag up in the order and so they will need to put up about 230, 240, the minimum, that will be par for the course from East. That is right, Pakistan unchanged, they've got uh, the same lineup, and uh, it looks pretty decent, pretty well balanced. So Indian openers are making strike rate which sort of bothers the opposition. Everybody realizes... That's nicely played. Well, run away to the boundary. He's so strong through the leg side. Hey, this is a terrific shot to watch. Just slightly short, got into that position and just whipped it off through mid-wicket off the back foot. Tremendous shot. Just that whip of the wrist at the last instant. Terrifically done. Oh, in the slot, lovely way to get a boundary. His first. Mohamed Asif over pitching and uh, in the Sehwag is not going to miss out on those ones. So India away. They've got a little bit of momentum about them now. Six runs in the previous over and to begin this beautifully flicked onto the onside. Beautiful shot. Got into a terrific position there. Just slightly over pitch but definitely in the middle of the stumps. Beautifully done by Seva. That is his weak spot. He thrives in that area also, but uh, when he's out of touch, he nicks them behind as well. Not a lot of foot movement there. In fact, he wasn't in balance. He was just rooted and then falling over after playing the shot. Just didn't... In fact, he's trying to find that, that space square of the offside. Oh, beautifully done. What a good shot. Classic drive from Varinda Seva. India 16 without a wicket. Now this is his area of strength. And Mohammed Yusuf, the moment that ball 
went into that gap, gave up the chase. Beautifully done. Most batsmen would tend to flick their wrists in the subcontinent and play towards square leg. But Rahul Dravid, this is his forte, keeps the bat so straight, whips it past mid-wicket, a lot straighter than most batsmen would do. Also, at times, there is a tendency to go too far across with that front foot. Not this time. Rahul Dravid, well aware. Just that hint of being short on the pad line is whipped past mid-wicket. That's our passion gone over the top of the fielder in the inner ring. Mohamed Asif will, would believe that there was a case for him, but Rinder Seva plays like this most of the times, and so uh, an easy boundary in the end for him. Well, I was just wondering when or how long it would take for Vin Virinda Sehwag to revert to his normal game. A little outside the off top and he very deliberately goes over the top. Now, that's probably the way to go on a wicket like this because you're not going to really, you know, get past those fielders on the offside as we saw yesterday. It was very, very difficult even getting singles. So, he decided to go over the top, the better option. The slip fielders have been taken away by Nzamam. They've been positioned at short covers and short point. It seems to be a good ploy, good strategy, because he has this tendency to play the ball in the air in this fielder's direction. So if Pakistan can get lucky, they may just make him to drive up Ishli and uh, in the process get holed out. Safer option for Seva would be try and go over the top. That's nicely guided away. That'll be a boundary. Look at that ball travel across in no time. Now, that really would have got Mohamed Asif mentally down because it wasn't such a bad delivery at all. And we keep talking about it being slow and it's difficult to time, but take a look at this one. It's just skid off the bat. Mere defensive shot. He was just using the pace of the ball. That's brilliantly played. The baller faltering with his length on that occasion. And Rahul Dravid was equal to the task. Picked up the length very early. Roll of rest in the end and picked up a boundary. Just mentioned picked up the length early. That enables the batsman to get into a position much quicker. Using the depth of the crease to good effect. Uses the four feet the depth of the crease, so he gets that extra bit of time at the last moment, the bottom hand coming into play to generate the power and gets the placement right. Eased away into the offside. This outfield is not the quickest. Pick up two more runs, though. The Indian captain, Nano was gone. It's 38 for no loss. Patan yesterday and it's happened to Rahul Dravid very rarely would you see Rahul Dravid getting hit well thank God for protection we saw a similar incident yesterday when Ifan Patan got hit on the head and in this game it's Rahul Dravid he was earlier into the stroke and the ball arriving very late it wasn't a very quick delivery from Rana Naveed. He was short all right. But he was in no position to play that stroke. And like you said, luckily he was wearing the helmet. Otherwise it would have been very damaging. Good slow delivery. Inside edge, but the batsman has been benefited. 47 without loss, India. With this field, he can uh, afford to ball straight. Not like that. It was a good effort. But in the end, went and went. Another boundary. 
crowd's delighted. Also brings up India's 50. Normally, you think we're in the Sevag is capable of only playing the big shots. But look at this for deft touch. Waited for the ball, just opening the face of the bat at the last moment. Very clever cricket indeed. This can make the bowler and the opposing captain think. If he plays the big shots, there's always the opportunity for him to get out. And when he plays shots like this, he's looking good for a big one. Again, finds the sweetest spot of the bat. It is a treat to watch him when he's in full flow. Timing personified. It was effortless. Minimum of footwork. And then just the push. And him a boundary. Great timing. Just caressed the ball through covers for four runs. That was a trick to watch. There you go. Bit of improvisation. And he gets a boundary. The bowler won't be delighted. But Sebag will be. Yeah, that was a brilliant stroke. <laughs> yes, is the call from Dravid. A bit of footwork involved, not the best way to feel on the cricket field. And they pick up two. He's called for the third umpire. Just get the feeling he was safe. And this angle will show us clearly whether the ball was inside. The bail is still on the stumps. The green light will come on. It does. Much to the joy of the Indian fans here. So he's been given in. 67 for no loss. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. He has got no right to hit the ball as hard as that for when that ball. The ball didn't bounce. That was number one. And he's whipped it off off stump. Racket like, I like, the bat like a table tennis racket. Just flicking it like a scimitar. Just dismissed it. He's whipped it from the off stump. Placement perfect. You'll have to get there. Oh, well, cut off. Not. I thought he got it, but that was a slack piece of fielding down there. Just take a look at this. He's just guided the ball. He's using the pace of the ball. I'd played it late to get that gap left of that backward point fielder. He yet got enough pace on it to beat the fielder at third man. Brilliant. And there's another bang. Bang, bang, bang. Drive it. Four more. Very well done indeed. Now, the fine leg fielder is very square there. He's there at deep square leg and he had to beat that fielder, Rahul Dravid. Either he played it fine or he played it very square. He opted for the latter. No protection there at mid-wicket at all. You'll pick up another four. They got the fine leg so square. Abdul Razak not good at mid-wicket. Now again an opportunity. Beautifully done by Sehwa. Clever. And there it is. That's his 50. His 21st 50. And isn't that a sign for me? And look at the reaction to him. That's a lot of pressure off the great man's back. Well, they're all feeling for him. They're feeling that... They're really desperately, all of them were willing within the Sehwag to succeed. So really, that's one monkey off his back. Pull shot with the wind, it'll run away maybe. Two more. Drive it. And Seawag, they're playing beautifully. That's 100 up, 100 for no loss. Well, they're finding the fence easily and frequently. Been a couple of good deliveries, but you've got to be consistent as a bowler. We can bowl five good deliveries and one ordinary one and go at four and over. The margin of error is minimal when you're bowling to a classic like Marinda Sehwak. He picked the length early, was in position early, and the field was not set for this kind of a, of a delivery. He 
He's launched into it. Has it gone the distance? It's gone flat, but it's gone for a six. Sebag is starting to break free. The method went straight through with the line of the ball in the mid-off. Fielder was up in the ring, so a very safe option taken by Varinda Sevak and had the power, the grace for that ball to sail over the fielder and uh, into that holding board. Dravid is too strong on the leg side. And if you are in length or line, you give him an opportunity, he is going to put it away. And he's put it away in great style to bring his half century, 71st one day international 50. Well, he has been a remarkable innings. He was struggling with a bit of uh, touch yesterday, but no problems today whatsoever for Raul Javid. Javid, what can you say of this man? His commitment and his powers of concentration and the ability to pick up loose deliveries has been outstanding from the Indian skipper. That was a half hit. Didn't even try to hit it hard, Rahul Dravid. I think he's looking for that gap between the bowler and the mid-on fielder. And it's Mohammad Yusuf with uh, an invalid dive. Ah! He's bowled him. The top spinner skidded off the surface. 101 Ks. For a wake-up call to all Pakistan supporters. What a delivery. Fantastic ball. It spun, it had bounce, and really had to be a great delivery to dismiss a very well set Virinda Sevak. But he's done his uh, job, he's damaged Pakistan quite badly. Sevak, one for 73, India lose their first wicket for 138. It's not shot down the ground. He plays such fine strokes when he's looking to hit the ball nice and straight. And there's his family. Yes, he is an impact player, isn't he? Didn't require any footwork because the ball was pitched right up and in the slot, just using the pace of the ball. Oh, he's done it again. Honestly, how does he play that shot? I give up. I really do. End of the over, 175 for one. I think Imran Fath missed it in the backdrop. He had no clue what was happening. In the air, catching the call and just... just managed to get a hand to it. It would have been a spectacular take had he managed it. Farhat? Well, he tried hard. It was always going to be difficult pushing yourself back. You never know what range, at what speed, at what point the ball is coming at you. He's got that in the gap, he's definitely going to come back for the second. You see, that ball could have easily been lifted over. But Raul Dravid still very keen to keep the ball on the ground. And, uh, that couple of runs also raises India's 200. 200 for one in an impregnable position. That's a good shot, that's been played fine. There's some work to do for the fielder at fine leg and they'll get two. So 10 runs from the over, the 40th, it's 210 for one. And this is the reaction from his 50, almost nonchalant about it. Getting used to it. He smashed it. And when Dhoni strikes them, they stay hit. Well, wasn't the right length and the line. That's a slow delivery. Would have been a wide, but Rahul Dravid makes good enough contact for the ball to reach the fence. Difficult shot to play, it was even difficult to make contact with the ball, but he does it brilliantly and gets into the 90s.
It was a tremendous stroke. He was backing away from the stumps in order to give himself a bit of room. And the bowler bowled a slow one. Went after it. Making the contact. Got the elevation right. Bowled him. Perfect Yorker. His absolute talent. Great potential, Mohamed Asif. Strikes, but one gets the feeling it's a little too late in the game. Yes, selfless Rahul Dravid, who was very close to his another century in international cricket. He was looking for some quick runs. He was backing away from the stumps. He was looking to heave the ball over extra cover, only managing an inside edge, and the ball shattered the stumps. Nevertheless, it was a very good innings from the captain. He scored 92, and India 228 for two. Bowled him over. These are very good deliveries. If you can bowl them consistently as a bowler, you will not be voicing your frustrations to the batsman, just like what Rana Navid did. You will be enjoying yourself with a lot of success instead. Well, he's mixing the deliveries very well. Slow delivery, followed by a quicker one, and the York Yorker land. And the batsman missed it completely. Well, he has contributed well, 59. And the Indians, they have lost their third wicket for 234 runs. Create a little bit of it. And isn't he good? And he's in good form. And it struck the holding, which will get her $100 to charity. And he continues to do so. What a hit. Straight down the ground, wasn't a bad delivery from Mohamed Asif, was on a length. And he's dispatched it with a touch of disdain. Consecutive boundaries. And this time on the leg side. Even though there are men in the deep, he will still find the fence. That's a hat-trick of boundaries. Exactly what India require. A flurry of boundaries towards the end. And that's exactly what they're getting. Another one, huge one, and that's the first six. Wish granted for the kids who were asking for a six. End of the over, a huge over for the Indians, 254 for three. The slower delivery, there's a man getting underneath it. Mohamed Asif has taken it. Again, the change of pace, working for Pakistan, working for Rana Navid. And it's an important wicket. Yuvraj Singh was looking to tear this bowling apart. Well, if you're trying to hit everything out of the gun, you are bound to miss one. And that's what happened. Yuvraj Singh was enwiggled with the slower delivery. Not quite getting the elevation right. Hitting the ball straight to the fieldsman. And that's a big wicket for the Pakistani team. He was looking very threatening and dangerous. 255 for four, India. In the air, it's gone, the elevation, and it was a good attempt in the deep. Rana Navid was right on the boundary line, and these boundary lines are 75 yards, covered quite a bit of ground, looked in good position to take it, but drops it eventually. Can they get a boundary of the last ball? It's been a good delivery. Go through with the single, but it's going to be a run out at the non-strikers end. The Indians doing the right thing by looking for the extra run. But good reaction, good anticipation from Kamran Akmal. Lock the ball to the bowler, Abdul Razak. And Suresh Raina, the last man dismissed. Well, that is the effort of the Indian batsmen. Varinder Sehwag and Rahul Dravid, along with... When Bowling, they started off pretty well. First three overs were maidens. Two from Mohamed Asif, one from Rana Navid. But in the end... Pretty expensive, Mohamed Asif picked up just the longest spell when the batsmen were in full flow. Dravid and Sebag, I'd have to say, he's done his job. Abdul Rasak, very expensive. Afridi again, he's done his job. One for 39. Shoaib Malik, just the five overs. Join our commentators. It's a Lal and Jones combination. Thanks very much, Ramiz. And the boys down there. A beautiful trophy you had in the background there, and that's what they're playing for, of course. Inexperienced in number of matches, 
and by G, he's only one wicket away for 100 one day international wickets there average of 24 do the right handers his release is perfect what a bounce in there and i'll just sneak one there and he's about to go for two oh good running i think he's made it he put in a good turn at the bowler's end for these see sean's throw a little high tony had to bring it down by which time he was in He's a just waiting for the umpire's decision there. And that's a green light. That's not out. Placement again was perfect. Harbajan's putting in a good chase for this. He might just get it. No. He's gone right over the road. Oh, you could try Budgie, but that's four, mate. <laughs> he knows it's four. A good chase. I thought... Trying to end it up on the off stump. Too much lean. That might go for four. And it will. Not good lines here. He's dragging the ball down to the leg side. And now the skipper has... Too short. Too much down leg. They would have us believe that these are probably the best lights available in world cricket today. Brilliant. Giving some width outside off stump, and this kick will go after you. And he's got a sore left hand, and I'll tell you what, he doesn't need another bad bounce, but... but turn into his third over. This is not the beginning that Rahul Dravid is used to from him. Not to have played on on that one, or even gloved it to the keeper. He did he get an edge. He's going, going, he's gone! What a start! It's his 100th wicket in one day now. Right, but take a look at this delivery. Got the impression that it might have gone down leg. We'll have to wait and watch. But it's the falling over of the batsman that gives the illusion to the umpire that it's a lot straighter than it is. But Farhat gone for... Shahid Afridi, pretty pumped with the ball, and he's come to the crease now. And I'll tell you what, he will not block too many deliveries one feels two wickets a match now that's amazing tremendous strike rate if you take wickets per match and a lot of them are within the first three Baldi right through the gates the big match but Freddy's been knocked over just when we thought it was and safe to leave your seats if our baton has struck it's a huge wicket that India have pocketed. And what a good delivery, really. First up, Shahid Afridi was on the walk. And he can now safely walk back to the hut. And that experiment didn't last very long for Pakistan. Oh, that's a lovely drive. That'll be four. Sri Shant over pitching and Shweb Malik. This time, no hesitation in driving hard at the ball. Well, he had the drive cover. The class act that he is prefers to go down the ground, even from outside the off stump. That has been important on this pitch to play straight. Press Only got one slip and a shot cover. That's uh, gone past that shot cover fielder in a flash. Shweb Malik will be pretty delighted with his effort. Well, the change in field you were talking about, Yunus Khan likes to nudge it, so that on this occasion it was a very good run. Covered the swing nicely, transfer of body weight in the direction of shot and the placement excellent. Here for me, he always gets wickets, there's no, no problem there, but he does pay pretty highly for them. All the greats, he's made a higher test score than all of them. Outside edge, and it'll go. Oh, they're on a roll now. Agaka does the trick. Another wicket in this power play. An absolute beauty. Have a look. Drew the batsman into that stroke. And it was safely taken by Dhoni behind the stumps. Wicket number three. The wise captain has departed. Pakistan in trouble. 45 for three. He's been around forever. 11,000 runs. And 57 one day international venues. This is the 157. Big shout. That might be out. Rudy. 
to ball the captain. Oh, did he dodge a ball at the end of the over? 46 for three. Okay. Hey, Mia. Well, in my opinion, the only thing with the leg outside the line of the is leg outside the line of the off stump. Have a look what Hawkeyes had to say. Well, I was out. The ball was definitely hitting the off stump. No pace on it. The earthquake victims. That is a good shot and is through. Wonderfully played. That's four. Welcome boundary for Pakistan. It was a pretty good delivery. Not worth a boundary because the fielder was positioned at mid-off really for this kind of a drive. The lakeside. That hasn't happened so far in this in Indian innings. That has been pulled away for four. That was what he was attempting to do previously. Short back lift, short arm kind of a pull, but big follow through by the big man. And the length was there for this one to be lifted over mid wicket. So he was in position early. Very good shot. And uh, well, he was hoping against hope that that would land in the hands of the field at mid wicket. Not to be. Well, that's been dealt with beautifully. That'll run away for four. A faster delivery by Harbhajan. Down the leg side, but Inzama in the commentary box now. Amir Sohel and with him, Shiva Ramakrishnan. He's taken a stunning catch. Thought it was heading to the boundary, but the man, Yuvraj Singh, is an absolutely outstanding fielder, and what a catch he's taken. Nobody in the ground knew where the ball was. If ever there was an amazing catch contest, or a classic catch, this would have easily won. Magnificent effort. Made it look very simple. Not to his natural side, he's a left-hander. Had to dive to his right. Isn't he enjoying it? You have a lot of fun when you... Fellow man, that can you believe I've taken this situation? He's missed it, and the keeper has missed it. Dhoni has made the first mistake, maybe unsighted by the bat coming. Doesn't look like full buys. Wicket. Should be called wide. It, yes, it is. It must be in, in these night. You never know. And taken. Just as you require a mature innings, somebody to play alongside in Zimamullah, providing the support, you'd expect somebody as six for his nagging length and consistent balling and he's been balling according to his field and on that occasion the ball was played in the air straight to Raina who made no mistake and the misery for Muhammad Yusuf once again failing Pakistan 108 for 5 so a much needed breakthrough for the Indians they know both Shoaib Malik and Enzimam are dangerous players and look at the celebrations They'll have plenty of it later tonight if they win this game. And all youngsters, look at that, Ryan I, Yuvra, success. The ultra motion, this is Suresh Raina taking a good catch. This was a very good catch because of the fact he had to time his jump to perfection. Another young... Absolutely brilliant cricket. Oi! It might go for four leg buys. Might, and it does. Well, he's got a, he got a bat on it. Well, I thought it come off his pad there. It doesn't matter, there runs. Fine edge. A lot of bat. Definitely a lot of bat. On 45, Akbal on 18. In the air. And it's a good one. I didn't think he got all of it, but it's gone for four. Bad shot has certainly energized the Pakistani ball. is a big hitter. Once again, early into position to play that pull shot. And he's very good with that shot. 
Well, that will be wide, I dare say. And five of them. That'll be his 50. He's 83rd 50 in one day in the national cricket. Oh, he's, he's got plenty of them. 12th against India. A brilliant knock from the skipper, but he has to go on. They need him. They really need him. There till the end, he's a finisher. We know that he can win matches from uh, even difficult situations. In the air, and say goodnight. They got a quick wicket. Harbajan gets the danger set. And not being able to locate the straighter one once again. Playing the wrong line, playing a little too early, scooping the ball in the air and an easy take for us. For a batsman coming in at number eight. And I'll tell you what, he can wax. Big it down the ground. Has he got enough of it? And go on. That might be it. Muhammad Kaif. He's been down there waiting, lurking for that big one. He didn't get enough of it. He's just arrived. This was his third ball that he was facing. Burst from Tawar. And he chose to take that huge risk with the fielder back there waiting for this kind of a shot. Mohamed Kaf. Rana Naved comes in now. Average nearly of 15. His highest score is 29. They'll need. That might go for four. And it does. Well, they lost a wicket, but they still got eight runs from it. 156 for seven. Completely dislodged from the top of the stumps. Let me get all that timing before we give a decision. Down the pitch, a big one. Magnificent shot, six. Nine runs from the over, 165 for seven. This is the hit for six, the previous over. He winded up really nicely for that one. But in the end, but you've got to keep inching closer. This time he's got enough bat on it, he's got four. Didn't quite middle it, but he's got the desired result. Very hard and most importantly, hitting the ball into the gap. The boundary, he's playing well. And that is his third boundary. So suddenly Ramesh Pawar, the off spinner, coming in for a bit of stick. Scored. It's played to the right of third man. I don't think he can come back for the second. He can. Well, he surprised everybody. Oh, goodness me. The bat was in the air, still in the air. Now it has been grounded. And just plumped that bat in. About three feet inside. That one. He's gone in the air. Is the fielder getting under it or has he cleared him? He's taken it. That is a good catch by Venugopal Rao. Very, very... But it didn't. Well, never easy for a fieldsman. Wants the ball. He's skied high and then in a situation which is very tight. He touched it very nicely, stayed inside, knew where he was and in the end took a crucial catch. And the Indian team should be relieved after seeing Rana Naveed off the park. Pakistan to provide support to his captain. I should have taken that and really made a, a fabulous catch. That is a big hit. Inzamam has cleared the fence. Six runs for Pakistan. Beautiful hit. Plenty. Only two of them, they are left. Yes, now he's going to be targeting that mid-wicket area. They've got to think of getting a plug there. But how do you do it? You've got the fine leg up. You've got long off and long on for him. 
So the best way to go is to bowl Yorker length deliveries to Inzamam. You can't bowl length deliveries now. Well, Ajit Agarkar has been uh, angling the ball away from the batsman. On that occasion, he was looking for the ball to seam away. That's not going to be a run. There's going to be a run out, and it's in Zamam. This is the big wicket. Dravid runs away with the ball after dislodging the bail. In Zamam makes the long walk back. See that jubilation suggested to me that how turned the things around. And it was a poor call from Rao Iftikhar. And in Zamam was backing too far away, and there was no point of return for him. And captain Diamond has cut the diamond. Well, he kept his nerve. He didn't throw the ball. He ran with it, dislodged the bail. In Zamam out for 79, and with him go back. Figures no you for 30. Buffy 7.1 overs. Knocked him over. India have won this. What a way to win it. Young Srishan bang on target. If the car misses it, in his but aren't they enjoying each other's company? And this is what winning's about with their very, very inexperienced lineup, a young team. Not many big names are out there, folks, but they're winning and they're winning well. They won by 51 runs here. And they've picked up the stumps there and I'll get them signed and they'll walk around and congratulate each other on what's been a very, very good stanza of their lives. For three months the last steadily just ranked behind Australia who are number one in South Africa number two India are at number three and are looking good in preparation for the big one the Champions Trophy first and then the major major World Cup yeah they're two major teams for me these guys here both Pakistan they won't drop their head at all that they, they are a useful team one day team I really do rate them they've got some power players got a couple of problems with the openers yet I, I feel they've got they've got the power with the ball I think if Shoa Bakhtar comes back in this team, maybe they could look at him for the ICC champs in the World Cup. But they're not far away also, I think, should make the semi-finals of the World Cup. As the lone man who raised the battle, got to 79, the top scorer. 18 extras, Pakistan bowled out for 218 in the 46th over. Well, the bowls are impressive everywhere. Three wickets to Patani bowled. Well, his first bowl was average, and he got a couple of wickets, but three for 35. Sri Sant, look, he impresses me every time I see him.